The Fenway faithful retreated to an extra innings thriller last night where the Boston Red Sox prevailed 5-4 over the Texas Rangers. Today we'll be breaking down Game 2, where we have a play on the total as well as a home run prop for Dinger Tuesday. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. If you guys enjoy the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the Wager Talk channel, and let us know who you got in the comments section, whether it be a side, a total, a player prop, uh, I'll be checking those comments, responding back to you guys throughout the night. So, yesterday was a brutal day, guys. All of our, literally every official play we had died on the hook. It was our worst day in August by a long shot. Um, includes our video play. That one died on the hook. We had Brewers, Dodgers, first five, over four and a half. They score four runs. Dodgers score four on their own. Atani and Betts, each with two run blasts. The Brewers... They left a man on second base. They had bottom of the fifth, man on second, no outs. They can't get the job done for us and just put in one run right there and cash that ticket. I'm kicking myself because I strongly considered the Dodgers' money line in that game. But anyway, we got to put it behind us. We're still 6-3 and three on our August videos, still running hot in the MLB for our official plays as well. But uh, it's just it was just a disgusting day. We need to put it behind us. Look to bounce back today. Texas at Boston. First pitch, 7.10 p.m. Eastern from Fenway Park. Red Sox, negative 148 on the muddy line. Rangers, plus 142. Total sits at 10. We got two right-handed pitchers that have been struggling. They went head-to-head -head in Texas less than two weeks ago in a game that finished with an 11-6 uh, total in that 11-6 final score in that game. Cutter Crawford, 7-9 on the year, 4-11 on the ERA, 1.13 on the whip, and he has been in horrible form. His last four starts, 22 runs, 26 hits, and 13 of them being home runs in only 18 and two-thirds innings pitched. This includes a start against Texas, where he allowed five earned runs across five and a third, including four home runs in that game. Urena has not been much better. 3-7, three 3-7-4 seven, three seven, ERA, one three two, on the whip. He's a relief pitcher that's been turned into a starter, and he basically has maxed the season has been four and a third innings pitched. Uh, we can't expect him to pitch much past the fifth inning. I, I'd be surprised if he pitched a full five innings in this one, and he got shelled in that start against Crawford, against Boston. Seven earned runs across only four innings pitched. So we have two very vulnerable starters going toe-to-toe -to -toe in this one. Guys, before I give you my official play in this game, got to tell you about an amazing deal that we're running over at Sports Memo. We have seven-day all-access passes for only $49. That's the same price as a three-day pass normally. This includes all sports, uh, including 5% plays. Just to put things into perspective, a 5% play is normally $29. This is $49 for seven days. WNBA, uh, WNBA returns on Thursday. And we finished that on a 6-1 and one run uh, prior to the break. And we're still up 40 units in the MLB since July 1st. Uh, I'd encourage you guys to go check that out at sportsmemo.com. There'll be a link attached to this video to my Sports Memo page. But you guys are here for this pick. As we mentioned, two vulnerable starters, two bullpens that are very vulnerable as well. Both bottom five on the season and across the last 30 days. There isn't a lineup in baseball I trust much more against righties than the Red Sox, especially recently, last 30 days, top five in categories like ISO, on base percentage, WRC+, plus, all those different categories. Texas has struggled to hit compared to what we saw from them last season. However, on the road, they're tied for fifth for the best record to the over. I think it's with Colorado, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, they're tied for fifth for the over record. Uh, so they've been an over team on the road. Uh, we took Crawford, his last start, we took the over against the Royals. That one finished 8-4. to four. And it's the only way I can look at this one. I know it's it feels square, and the number is huge at 10. But I'd be surprised if we don't see at least 10 runs in this game. I'm thinking it could be closer to 15 based on these starters. These bullpens are actually both gassed, too. Last night, an extra inning game. And I think I counted five and six pitchers on each team that had a, a reliever go in two of the last four days. So tired bullpens, especially on Texas's side. Let's go over for this one. Big number, but I think they get there tonight at Fenway Park. I mentioned the Dinger, uh, Dinger Tuesday home run prop. 
and it feels a little square too, but let's look to Corey Seager. He hit a home run last night. He's had a home run in six of his 10 games in August with seven total. That seven is because he hit two against Crawford in that start earlier uh, just a couple weeks ago that we mentioned. He's four for eight in his career against Crawford, and uh, 20 of his 26 home runs have come against right-handed pitching. Best price I can find is plus 310 over at FanDuel. So that'll be my blast of the day. We, we actually, that's one play I did cash yesterday. I posted my blast of the day, which is my favorite home run prop over on X yesterday. It was Seager at plus 360. Today, we get a little bit of a lower number, but if you can get plus 300, I think Seager is going yard tonight. More importantly, official play over 10 and a half for the Red Sox Rangers tonight. Guys, like I mentioned, there'll be a link attached to the video. I always have free plays posted at sportsmemo.com and on X at stevesbook22. On the way out, if you guys enjoy the content, hit that like button for me. Good luck tonight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.